get comfortable with that is a big deal. And there might technically also be some footwork type stuff. Of, you know, if we run this play, it would be, we might teach how to run it a little bit differently than he was taught in the past. But that's a change for him. Every part of that is a change that he's got to learn. And then, you know, then hopefully decision making, he's, he's done enough of that to know that there is a progression and that you have to go through a progression uh, that he feels comfortable with. And the way that he gets past it, the next part of your question is, is that he practices a lot. Repetition of practice is how you can improve it and make it more comfortable. Coach, when you took the job, did you know that these guys were going to have such an attachment to, to both? Uh, you know, I never really, I, 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 I would assume that they would, I would and I, because I don't know much about the situation otherwise, but I would assume, and I'm glad that they did, it says a lot about Bo and about the kids. And so that is, that is something that, uh, you know, is just that was one of the hard parts about this whole thing, the transition of the team. It's difficult. From what you've heard, are they going from one extreme to the other in terms of personalities? I mean, they said you maybe yelled at them only once, breaking up a fight. Was that about it? Yeah, I think they made the fight up, too. <laughs> I think they, they uh, fooled me. But, you know, I don't I don't know about that. I think that, you know, I, I mentioned this. My dad taught me to be myself. The coach is the way I feel comfortable teaching and coaching. Uh, and that's... And I think that has nothing to do with success. I think that there's all different kinds of personalities that have been successful or not in, in my, my, my profession. So, you know, and frankly, you know, in teams that I've coached in the past, if we've won, then, you know, I can relate. I'm a good guy and all that. And if we've lost, I've been, I'm too soft. So, you know, it's just good. <laughs> You might as well just be yourself and let it let it fly from there. So that's that's good. Mike, Mike, you were talking about style of play and how there's you know not putting it in a bag for a certain college. Why do you think some of the distinctiveness in college football has started to change in the last ten years? Well, people like it's losing yeah. some of that uniqueness in terms of how the game is played. Because everybody's trying to do the same thing. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think though. That, that will come around because people are really, they're copycats, right? I mean, this spread offensive deal has caught fire and it's very, very good. And now, you look around and we're going to be one of them and everybody's getting their feet in the, in the mix here, getting in the fire of running some kind of a spread. But, you know, somebody then, after this cycle, is going to be that next whatever the new spread deal is or whatever the new player is for offensive football on the next step. So I think it's it's forever cyclical. Do you think, do you think the style 